I'm excited. You know why? Well, <laughs> it's Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. You guys are back with the taco guys. Thank you for joining us, compadres, or as I like to call you all of a sudden, my ta compadres. <laughs> my name's Rob. And I am El Gringo Mas Guapo, Jeremiah. And today we're on the corner of, it looks like Sierra Highway and Soledad K in very busy intersection. This is a uh, no frills, no gimmicks, just kick butt tacos. What's it called? Tacos Los Toritos. Mm. Tacos Los Toritos. Tacos Los Toritos has been in this very location with the very same menu for 30 years now. Wow, 30 years. Make sure that you like and subscribe so you don't miss an episode. All right, now follow us in as we uh, check out these tacos. All right, check out that menu. It's all the classics. They got the carnitas, cabeza, pollo, buche, milanisa, machaca. My son in law named Jeff. <laughs> Pescado. So the fact that they automatically hand out the radishes with the tacos takes me back to being seven, eight years old when my dad used to take me to the taco trucks. I hadn't quite developed the palate to handle Mexican spices or chilies yet. What I always did as a kid is not only would I chew on these, I'd take them and I'd rub them on my lips like lip balm. <laughs> it was about the only thing that could, uh, that, that could soothe, soothe the fire. Um, anyway, just a fun throwback, you know? And what you got here is just simple, simple, simple. Two tortillas, meat, onion, cilantro, that's it. And you got your two bases. You got your green sauce, red sauce. So sticking to our format, we're gonna kick it off with the carne asada. And as per usual, try to put the salsa roja on this bad boy. Carne asada time. Let's freaking do it. That slaps. Mm. <laughs> oh my God, it's good. It's good. I'm gonna stick to the format and go with the red sauce on the carne asada. And what I was told is that this is a secret recipe. Not even the cooks here know. It's carne asada time. Mm. Fucking bad guy. Mm. I'm speechless. This is a street taco. So. I'm um, gonna go ahead and uh, make sure I get all the accoutrements. Got some pickled veggies, including jalapeno to go on here. Some carrot, a little onion, a little more salsa roja. Another quick little splash of lime. I'm going to flavor heaven. I'm gonna take myself to flavor heaven too. <laughs> Mm. Mm. This, this is what made me a fanboy of Tacos Tradicionales. I mean, this is what we're pursuing <laughs> right here. So now that we've conquered our carne asada taco, we're gonna move on to the al pastor, my personal favorite. All right, let's see how it goes. Grab a freshie. Woo! Mm. Mm. It's just bringing back so many strong, great memories. I mean, this is what I think of when I think of the perfect street taco. Mm -hmm. This is it. All right, now that we've finished our tacos, it is time for us to step outside the establishment in the interest of being discreet, real, and raw, and give our scores. All right, man, I, that was exciting stuff. I mean, this was a trip back down to memory lane. It took me back to when I was a kid, come back from Dodger Stadium, hitting up the taco place. You put together the two tortillas, the simple meat, onion, cilantro, and their homemade salsa. I gotta give it up for Tacos Los Toritos. This place gets an 8.2. This for me is like the gold standard by which I judge tacos. It's this style presented this way with these flavors. I love this place. And that red salsa, man, it just, it just slaps. 
So good. Was it the highest quality ingredients? No. And that's okay. This is still an amazing, amazing taco. I got to give Tacos Los Toritos all kinds of love, and they're getting an 8.4 from El Gringo Mas Guapo. Nice. That's the review. We are the, the Taco, taco Guys. guys.